nuestro país. En la relación entre los extraños son el acercamiento de todos los And the politics focuses is that uh, the finding of the strong political will and uh, the exploring or proposing in, uh, new fields of cooperation between the two parties and, and serve the, the joint interest, the mutual agent, and uh, for more the stability and the peace in the region of the Mediterranean, Spain as a pioneer stands in the framework of the relations between the Mediterranean and Egypt is uh, extending the um, strong relations between the two bricks of the Mediterranean uh, continent together. Also we have a joint relationship in the framework of uh, the relationships between And, uh, and uh, through the, the close uh, knowledge of in Spain in the situations in Egypt, and it's full up uh, throughout the years, through the uh, present issues that uh, talk objective stances as well as balanced uh, within uh, the European uh, Union. I would like to welcome uh, her, my minister, and I'm very pleased uh, with the talks being held uh, between the two eyes uh, in uh, the framework uh, of the region to have already to tackled the issue of the Palestinian cause and the, to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict uh, on the basis of the two states, uh, as well as the establishment of the Palestinian states, uh, as well as maintaining the constitutional rights of the Palestinian people to establish the stability in the region. We've already talk, tackled the issues in Libya, Syria, and uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean with the importance uh, of uh, joint efforts between Egypt and Spain, as well as the um, members of the European Union away from the policies of expansion the policies of expansion and uh, creating a state of tension does, uh, that has no use uh, or rather uh, more instability and we've already agreed upon in confronting the terrorism and to continue the coordination of cooperation between other uh, in the international arenas and we are longing for the strength of such relations and its outcomes on the interests of the two countries. Uh, Ma'am Minister, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Minister, and for the uh, warm reception in the first uh, official visit as a, a minister of Spain. As I said, that I uh, explained to his minister that it has a great presence. I'm an archaeologist. For me, I hope to come back again quickly, not just for uh, enjoying um, the uh, history and the civilization of such a country. Through the meetings of uh, uh, His Excellency Mr. President, uh, this morning we've already tackled the relationships between the two countries, between Egypt and Spain, which are um, a solid um, base and we are longing for to work in the field of economies, uh, investment, trade, such a sector that has a strength of um, technology between the two countries. Therefore, um, through the close dialogue to invite the uh, upcoming year in the meeting of the UFM, as in a conference of trade 
We've already talked about the joint work in the field of confronting terrorism and human trafficking, as well as the network that practice such a criminal activities because both countries are very concerned of such an issue. We've already talked about the rights and we've exchanged point of views and we've expressed I've already sent uh, His Excellency uh, Mr. Minister the appreciation to, of uh, the government and the state in the, in the field of women empowerment, uh, protecting uh, or maintenance uh, of environment uh, and uh, which are on highly concerned uh, for Spain. We've already tackled issues that is related uh, the diplomatic field and we've already agreed to continue and I'd like to tell you uh, that we are going to honor a female personality that worked in through her life defending the women rights which are Kumsan that will give me the chance to honor her as an appreciation of her work in such a field. We've already talked on the relationship between the European Union and Egypt and in such Spain in the 26th and the 27th as the 25th anniversary of the personal process through which that we wish to establish a strategic relationship in the near future, in particular with the European Union neighboring countries and we are working on the future. We've already talked on the related uh, relations uh, of uh, the region with the consensual uh, agreement uh, with respect to the issue in Libya in order to solve a uh, political solution that guarantees stability, political stability and uh, economic development uh, under the umbrella of the United Nations have already talked and tackled the issue of peace uh, in the Middle East and that Spain is fostering uh, forward. We've welcomed uh, to the normalizations between the neighboring countries and Israel, uh, which is very important to move forward to execute such uh, a movement and to continue the peace process between the uh, Palestinian and the Israelis according to the agreed upon standards of the United Nations. So we've already tackled the issue of tension in the region of the Mediterranean from the perspective of Spain that to be solved, uh, that cannot be solved on unilateral measurement but through negotiation that we think it is uh, the proper prescri prescription for achieving more stability in the Mediterranean. I've already expressed through uh, to His um, Excellency Mr. Minister, Foreign Minister that uh, Egypt to continue or along with the th three countries between Egypt and, th and Ethiopia and Sudan to an agreement around the, the Renaissance Dam and that we think it's, uh, it's very important for the th three countries and uh, I would like also to add uh, more thanks uh, for you Mr. Foreign Minister to consider an effective from today and we hope to, to continue the talks in the meeting on the upcoming meeting in the 26th and 27th of November. Thank you. My question to Her Excellency, Ma'am Minister of Spain, with respect to the crisis in Lebanon, 
before such a visit, you've already visited uh, Beirut and uh, through which you've met uh, Lebanese uh, parties. What are its uh, outcomes of such a meeting and uh, the visions of the Spanish government concerning the crisis there? And the same question for His Excellency, Mr. Sam Shukri, is there any coordination between Egypt and the European Union member with respect to the crisis in Lebanon? Thank you. Thank you uh, for the questions. Uh, in fact, uh, I've already visited in Beirut uh, yesterday that uh, I had a chance to dialogue with His Excellency Mr. President and uh, the Mr. Parliament Speaker as, the, as well as the uh, Prime Minister. Simply Spain is sharing an agreed solidarity with Lebanon in such a hard time that uh, in addition to the COVID-19 that the uh, Lebanese people has uh, suffered and we've already shared with them and the uh, U civil society correspondent uh, um, uh, my wish to form a cabinet in the, as soon as possible to work on the reforms needed by the countries that are in the top that should be uh, tackled and discussed that we support that the international community support as well as the IMF that express its support to such a country to easily get out of such an economic problem and uh, we support them to in reach of uh, um, forming uh, swiftly a government that uh, contribute to enhance the trust uh, not only between the international community but also for the uh, Libya, uh, Lebanese people to look forward in order to have a reform economically. Consultations made between uh, her ma minister uh, explained the consent uh, agreement between the um, the issues of uh, mutual consent uh, and of course uh, as Lebanon suffered from the COVID-19 and its um, related uh, and the related consequences of the explosion in the Beirut port and in hope that the upcoming government to fulfill the hopes and aspirations of the proudly Lebanese people, our relations with Lebanon are in deep and Egypt were in top in providing assistance for the Lebanese part, uh, Lebanese people and we look forward to more consultations uh, with all the uh, political parties uh, to challenge uh, such or to face such challenges uh, through the uh, joint vision and uh, as we hope for the Lebanese people as soon as possible to overcome such a crisis and to have a um, uh, government to play its role in achieving stability and peace and security for the Lebanese people. My question is for uh, uh, my minister and uh, I'm very pleased to uh, uh, the different counterparts to respond to and from the perspective of the European Union Egyptians role uh, in the, the region with respect in uh, the issues of uh, um, Libya and uh, would it be uh, and will you be as a replacement for the um, Turkish party in the region Egypt is an agreed country and it's an important uh, factor, a country that has 
important dimension in the Mediterranean and the African uh, continent that has and had a great role in such dimension that triplet and uh, in addition to that with respect uh, to, uh, based on uh, the friendly relationship between Egypt and Spain uh, that we expressed uh, through talks uh, how we could we work uh, together uh, to in reach uh, a peaceful solution and the consensual in throughout all the conflicts uh, of the region in whether in Libya or uh, the uh, in the Mediterranean between uh, Palestine and Israel or in Iraq or in uh, the African Horn throughout all these dimensions Egypt uh, had always uh, been or had an, a very historical role in reach political solution through dialogue that can be effective and reliable in in, in help to reach a stability in the region. Egypt uh, has a very close relationship uh, between uh, Egypt uh, and uh, the Libyan uh, uh, party based on uh, the continued uh, um, communication to the very complicated situation in Libya that uh, affected a lot in uh, the peace uh, and the stability of the Libyan-Egyptian borders uh, such as uh, the uh, uh, terrorist uh, groups that try to, to penetrate uh, the uh, such uh, um, borders that made it it's uh, very important to deal with such a crisis and to reach a Libyan, Libyan agreement that return the uh, Libyan institution its ability to hold its responsibility to eradicate the terrorism and in order to serve the Libyan interest. Among of such an agreement that prevented the uh, dissemination to the foreign prisons on the Libyan uh, land that has no way to expand. There are countries that are uh, fostered through uh, presence in supporting the uh, extremist group that uh, resulted of more tension and such countries to uh, intervene in Libya, not uh, based on uh, protecting the Libyan interest, but for its expansion that uh, then does not uh, has a direct interest that uh, would be a pretext of such an intervention. Fostering the dialogue between the Libyan uh, parties, uh, that is what Egyptian role based on to sort out the uh, issue politically based on the constitution and fostering the presence of the UN in voice to return its stability and the full sovereignty without any penetration or intervention of any part that had no right of such as such. Thank you very much. Egypt opens up to the world. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi meets with world leaders. Reaffirming Egypt's vision, delivering our voice abroad. لتطوير التعاون الثنائي الاقتصادي والعسكري إلى مستويات غير مسبوقة. Discussing regional and international developments. 